Hey there, welcome back. Today we're going to take down this pergola. It's just a sunshade basically. It's just river cane. Uh, there's a few sort of small streams and rivers around the place. It just grows wild and we just cut it down, bring it back and, and just sort of stick it together with either a bit of jute twine or zip ties or whatever it happens to be. Uh, this we just buy from the hardware store, this stuff. Um, it's like really thin twigs or even pipes of cane, but really small stuff. It might even be grass to be honest. Normally, April time we put it up, and then at this time of year, end of the, end of the summer, coming into winter, sort of middle of November, we take it down. Um, just to sort of keep the damp out of this area here. Uh, summertime, obviously, nice, nice shade for the dogs, and these yuccas actually, look at well, look at them. They look amazing, and, and they benefit from the shade, because it, it it's just too hot. So it's nice, but then obviously now, when the, when the wind gets up in the winter and the weather gets bad, it just, it just takes an absolute battering. As you can see, it's all falling down. Uh, so we're going to take it down and then the old canes we're either going to use them to help start the fire because they're very very dry um, or to be honest uh, they're really good for the rocket stove so we might have a bit of a cook up on the rocket stove afterwards so that's what it looks like from the outside again it just it just gives a shocking impression when people come to the house and see it all sort of ragged so it's best to just take it all down um, we'll just go and get new canes come april they'll be stronger they'll be they'll be a better looking colour, they'll just look nicer out the front of the house here. So you can see here how it's it's fallen down. Um, we either use a bit of twine like this, or we just tie it up with a few a few zip ties. But in the intense, you know, sunlight of the summer, they just end up snapping and breaking and and then just dropping down. So that's what it looks like. Let's get on with it. I think we'll leave these ones up for now. They're still pretty solid and uh, they don't really get in the way. And they all, they'll act as a good good indicator for next year to where I need to put the cross, cross beams back. So we'll assess in April whether we're gonna replace those or not. Uh, so for now, we'll just leave them. Yeah, there we go. All done now. Lots more sunlight coming in now for the yuccas. They need it this time of year because the sun a lot lower in the sky, less aggressive. So it's nice to get a bit of direct sunlight. But they're, they're looking pretty good, looking really healthy, which is nice. Okay. Lovely stuff.
So this is my rocket stove. Um, I think it's cast iron. It's really heavy. Uh, you basically face it into the wind, and it's a great way of getting a mental flame with very, very little amount of fuel. So we've got our, our cane, which we're basically going to break down and feed in there like that. We're going to have a bit of a cook up. Let's crack on. See what I mean? Crazy how much flame you get off just a few bits of twigs. Right then, that's me pretty much. Feeling pretty full just now, so I think I'm gonna go and have myself a siesta. But before I go, I'd like to say thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed the rocket stove, then please subscribe to the channel because there'll be plenty more of that type of content um, coming up in future videos. Anyway, for now, that's me. My siesta's calling, so I'm gonna shoot off. I'll catch you on the next one.